On a hidden corner of the San Nicolò neighborhood in Florence, you'll find the Galleria Il Bisonte, a traditional printmaking space which is currently hosting an exhibition curated by Andrew Dacan. The exhibition takes place as part of Andrew Dacan's month-long tenure as artist-in-residency at this historic printmaking foundation. The show includes a selection of artists from all over the United States. These printmakers depict a wide range of themes, from current events and hot-button issues to timeless concepts and allegories, and they use a variety of techniques. We spoke with the director of Il Bisonte to learn more about the space, as well as with Andrew to get an inside look at the logic behind this innovative exhibition. My grand-aunt Maria Jaguaita went to Scotland and discovered art lithography. She fell in love, rushed back to Florence and decided to open a place of her own about artistic lithography. She gathered friends, was very lucky because one of them knew the Geographical Institute of the Army that is in Florence, had a whole lithographic studio and used, so she bought everything, hired the lithographer and in 1959 opened Il Bisonte Art Edition. Let me say that in 1962, Bisonte was the, the only Italian lithography place that printed Picasso. So, um, after the opening to international artists, everything was going so smooth, so fine. The market for lithography was huge. A lot of money, a lot of people, sort of lose of control, things started to go in a bad direction. She understood that this direction was no more what she liked. So she called herself out and transformed El Bisonte into a school. This exhibition compiles 30 artists from the United States. Um, not all American citizens, but all working within the United States. There are printmakers that explore many different kinds of processes in printmaking, many different avenues of uh, direction with imagery and content. We have things exploring environmentalism, issues of urban decay, urban development, uh, there are issues of science, uh, ideas of feminism, and human rights. So in Italy, uh, we have very long traditions here, uh, and especially with intaglio processes, including etching and, and engraving. In the United States, of course, we have this here as well. And in Italy, there's also um, other kinds of printmaking, but they are um, seeing more uh, a new, new growth, um, and also in the United States. In the United States, we have a broader, um, a more diverse range of um, processes that are more um, common, uh, commonly used. Um, so, uh, uh, screen printing or uh, serigraphy, other kinds of photo based processes, uh, lithography, of course, and uh, um, new types of uh, old processes. So, for example, with relief printmaking. Um, which is so old, perhaps the oldest, um, there are new technologies being used in processes combined with hand processes. So it might start with or might use a digital application to formulate um, part of the imagery or to gather part of the imagery or to even make part of the plate. And then it comes, goes to a change to print by hand.